Hey everyone, this is Derek from Meet Gang. Today we're going to take a special look at our brand new L-Series kits. These were updated last month to bring you top line components such as our MX block and our Vardar fans. Kits are a great place to start for your water cooling adventures because they include everything you need. You don't have to worry about choosing the wrong size fittings, the tubing, or anything like that. It's everything you need for a CPU block loop and they're easily expandable. So, let's get started. So we've gone ahead and unboxed everything for you guys to save on time and awkwardness. It can be pretty awkward taking out boxes from a box and it takes a lot of time too. So we figured this would be easier for everyone. Uh, first up in the EK orange box, we've got the Supremacy MX. The cooling engine is based on our flagship Evo line and the performance is actually pretty similar. But we've cut out some of the frills to bring you the guys the best performance per dollar block. This is the plexi version, so you can put some LEDs on the side here to light it up and it looks really cool when it's glowing in a dark PC, which a lot of you guys are in a dark room playing games or whatnot, so it's definitely worth looking into. LEDs are not included in the kit, but they can be purchased here. And we have white, UV, green, red, blue, all that stuff. Next up in the red and pink boxes, we've got our pump reservoir and the mounting gear. The pump reservoir combo is a complete contained unit, it's everything that you need, and it's this unit itself is actually unique to this kit. This kit. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's very small and compact and will fit in any case on the market. It has anti-vibration rubber mounts, so you won't hear the pump at all. The mounting gear, though it comes in a pink box, is very sturdy and very manly for your case. Uh, it mounts in any spare 120 millimeter fan mount, which hopefully your case has, since this is a 120 millimeter fan kit with three 120 millimeter fans. Uh, next up, we've got the coolant. Although this looks like a small bottle, it actually makes one liter of coolant and there's plenty for this kit and any leftovers that you may spill or whatnot. Uh, we do include clear in this kit because of the black tubing, but you can get red, blue, green, yellow, orange, white at our web shop, which you can look at here. Next up, the tubing is our EK ZMT tubing. This is rubber based and has very low evaporation rate. So the coolant you put in your loop from day one will last for several years, if not longer. This is great for beginners. And besides the evaporation rate, it also is very flexible and easy to use. So it's, we highly recommend giving it a shot, even though it's black and it may not be your favorite color, but we guarantee you once you give it a shot, you'll really enjoy this tubing. Fittings included are 10, 16 millimeter nickel fittings, and of course, they match the size of the tubing itself. We've included an Allen key to help you tighten everything, make sure the O-wings compress, and so you have that source of leaking under control, and that won't be a problem for you. Next up for accessories, we have a three-pin fan splitter to keep your wire management under control. You don't have to worry about that. You just plug one into your mobile header and the three into the fans, so you're good to go. This funny little thing is a power supply adapter which you plug in and then you plug your pump into your power supply and this way you can run your pump and you can do your leak test while all your other components are still turned off. This allows you to make sure your components are 100% safe. In the case of a leak, when you spill some coolant on your components, you just dry it off, let it sit for a bit, it's no problem at all. It's, coolant these days is non-conductive and it's not a big deal to spill a little bit. Um, but to be safe, we do include this so you can fill your loop and run everything and do a leak test and just have no problem. It's a very risk-free way of testing everything out. And speaking of risk, a lot of people will think water cooling is risky for your system. But in fact, if you do everything correctly and have some patience and follow the instructions, it's really simple and it's not risky at all. There are a lot of other things you can do that are riskier than water cooling, such as buying a no-name power supply from eBay. And cheaping out that way. So water cooling itself is not too bad. All right, so next up we've got our radiator. As the name suggests, that we do include a 360 radiator in this kit. We also have 120 and 240 versions available here, which you can check out in our web shop and view the other radiators and fans. Well, everything is basically the same. It just comes down to the size and the number of fans included. The one included in the l series kit is the PE line, which is 38 millimeters thick. It has a very sleek and modern design that'll look good in any case. And the fans themselves are of course 120 millimeter with the radiator. They are EK Vardar line, which are specifically designed for water cooling. They're completely made in-house and are made to be the number one water cooling fans available today. We advise enthusiasts and beginners alike to use these fans and give them a shot. You can put them on your motherboard and turn them down using PWM. They'll be absolutely silent. You get a perfect solution. Lastly, the instruction manual. 
a lot of people want to ignore this because you know they want to do it themselves. You know, that's what it's all about. It's doing it yourself, and we understand that. But the instruction manual, we put a lot of time into these, and highly recommend you read them. It will help you through any situation that may arise while putting together your loop. Well guys, that's everything. As you can see, it's really not too bad. Walk going is pretty simple these days. It's all a matter of just finding the right components. And fortunately for you, kits take all that trouble away. Everything is good to go from the beginning and you make sure that it's all compatible and will work with your system. Please like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Leave a comment if you think we should do something else or what videos you want to see in the future. And as always, please subscribe. See you next time.